Hello everybody and welcome back once again to Vino Mexico. This is the new format we're going to start winding up towards the weekend. So you can now expect videos on Wednesdays, which is our Wednesday wineries, on Thursdays, which is our Thursday Thursdays, and of course the double glug and the wine tasting on Friday nights of every Mexican wine that we can get our hands on. This is why we are coming direct to you in this new format, so if you like it, like it, subscribe it, hit the bell button, let us know what you think. If you really like us, join us on Facebook, join us on Twitter, join us on Instagram, join us on Patreon. We are everywhere, we've got 52 people, we are coming for you, we are Mexican wine, let's go. Okay, so welcome to the new Wednesday show. This is where we are going to be taking a look at the winery producing this week's wine. Tomorrow we will take a look at the specific wine, and of course on Friday we are going to be drinking it because it's Friday night. So, it's Wednesday, it's time to take a look at the wine. This week's wine is not from the Baja California. Again, we are continuing our tour of other wine regions here in Mexico. This week we are in Zacatecas and we are looking at Tierra Adentro, or not like that, Tierra Adentro. This is a winery that is, as I've just said, based in Zacatecas, which is a central state in the central middle part of Mexico. This is a, uh, a wine region that is temperate, it is grasslands, it is mix of pine forest, it is a bit of shrubbery and uh, scrubland out there. It's generally a cooler zone down here in Mexico, so this is an annual average temperature between 15 and 25 degrees Celsius which is roughly about, what, 60 to nah, 50, mid 50s to mid 60s, mid high 60s, there are, somewhere in that region. Yes, of course, in the summertime, it does get hotter. Um, according to the data, it rarely gets up above 30 degrees, which is on par with the Bordeaux regions and those regions that also produce great world quality wine. So this is why this area also produces great world quality wine. This particular winery itself, has a history of wine growing, grape growing, and wine making that stretches back over 40 years. So this is an established winery. It is affiliated with what is called the Campo Real. <clears throat> now, that seems to be, I don't know whether it's an independent winery joined to Tierra Dentro, but it seems to have a UNESCO World Heritage Site status. So you know this is coming from a beautiful part of the world. And of course, the energies in beautiful parts of the world go into its wine, so we're expecting good things from this. The Enologists, the Enologos, is Dr. Joaquin Madero. For those of you who are following Mexico wine, that name should mean something to you. He is also joined by his, uh, by his friend, his compañero, Hugo de Costa López, who is an expert, a world-renowned expert, so it says, in the trans transformation of wines from dreams into high-quality wines. So this is a guy who is used to making dreams a reality. So is Tierra Dentro going to be a theater or factory of dreams? This is to be found out. Okay, so while we're here, let us take a quick look at some of the photographs, some of the images that we can find of this winery, so you can get a better understanding of the region where this wine comes from. And of course, we cannot mention this winery without letting everybody know that this year on August the 26th, Tierra Adentro is performing or holding its own Vendimia. What is a Vendimia? Vendimia is the festival, the harvest festival, the wine festival. Essentially, this is a big event where you go along, you drink the wine, you meet people, you drink some more wine, you talk to people, you drink some more wine, you look at the, the events, you look at the, the shows, you look at the performances, you have a great time down here in Mexico. So this is the 26th of August in Tierra Dentro in Zacatecas. Uh, tickets start at 1,750 pesos for pretty much anywhere in the entire place, um, which is roughly, what, $80? Um, yeah, $80, 90 Canadian dollars thereabouts. So yeah, it's, it's certainly a good event and if uh, past events or anything to go by in any of the wine events down here in Mexico is going to be an absolutely fantastic day. This winery is producing 
a wide variety of wines. So they are currently producing and have for sale Malbec 100%, Malbec, uh, Merlot 100%, which this is, a Shiraz 100%. They also produce a Merlot Rosé. They're also producing their blended wines. This is the Tri Via uh, Varietal, which is a mixture of Shiraz, Tempranillo and Merlot. And they also produce, produce a wine called the Bardolosa, which is their Cabernet Sauvignon, Malbec and Merlot. All of their wines range from between 13 to 14% and are generally around the 13.5% area. So these are not strong, they are not going to be burning up, up high alcohol. This is an area which <clears throat> is well suited for wine growing, so we are expecting some very classically, some good traditionally complex wines, some good fruit flavours in there. There's a lot of passion and a lot of dreams and a lot of energy that has gone into making these wines, so we're expecting them to be very, very good. The website for this winery is now boom, right below us, so check those out. These wines are available for sale on the website directly from the winery, so that is great for all of you guys up there in Canada, whether you're in Toronto, whether you're in Vancouver, whether you're in Saskatchewan, or I know some of those really small ones right up in the Northern Territory there. If you're not in Canada and you're up in the USA, whether you're down in Costa Rica, whether you're in Poland, whether you're in France, the United Kingdom, Spain, whether you're in Indonesia or India, or any of these other places that have been tuning in to Vino Mexico, why not? Make an, make an order and I'm pretty sure they can ship the wine direct to you as well so you too can take part and try some of these great Mexican wines made elsewhere here in the Republica Mexicana. All of these wines are priced roughly around 500 to 600 pesos. Some of the blended ones are a little bit cheaper. Um, that is roughly around the $25 mark. So again, this is pushing the psychological break point of some people but as I said before if you want quality you have to pay for it and for the quality you are getting it is an absolute bargain because if this was French you'd be paying upwards of a hundred dollars so get in there and get some in so this is Tierra Dentro tomorrow we will be looking specifically at this particular wine this wine varietal by looking in the wine folly book and what we normally do on the friday night show on friday night we are just going to open this bad boy we are just going to drink it we're just going to taste it we are going to describe it we are going to do all of that great stuff that you guys have come to know and love so to all of our 52 subscribers thank you very very much we love you from the bottom of our hearts thank you for joining us please tell your friends and let everybody know that we are here and we are here for you bringing you dreams and wine every Thursday, Wednesday, Friday. If I could do this seven days a week, I would. My wife, <laughs> that's another story. Okay, so until tomorrow night, have a great evening. Join us on Facebook, like, subscribe. Let us know what you want us to do. Comment, all of this great stuff. We will see you tomorrow. We'll be looking at the wine for another installment of Vino Mexico.